Okay, the application is starting. So let's test the test it out. Let's just click on white. So there is our loading, which is this one. If uh, if is loading is true, we want to show that. So let's put some spacing down there. So what we can do is let's copy this, copy that sized box, and then uh, down here, let's paste it. Then let's uh, hot restart. Yeah, we want it something like that. Then here, let's just copy this as well. Let's minimize. Let's copy this. Then paste it down here. What we want to do here again, now we want to check the is successful if it's successful we want to show our check check mark so here instead of showing this secular indicator we can show our container and then uh, this container will have a height of about 40 and then the width, let's uh, give it also 40. And then let's give it a decoration, which will be a constant of box decoration. Let's give it the shape, uh, box shape dot uh, circular circle let's give it a green color colors do the green like that and then uh, let's uh, give it this container now a child so down here after the decoration let's give it a child this will be a uh, an icon which comes from icons the, the done like that and then this let's give it a white color colors dot white let's also give it a size Uh, let's cut this we need to give it a, a size inside here I mean the color and the size size let's give it about 30 just like that so if if it is successful let's show this check mark else we we'll also don't uh, we we'll say constant of size box and shrink it so let's bring back our our emulator and then let's hot restart so here let's go back to authentication provider 
so the is loading let's take it back to false let's put this as the true and then hot restart okay we didn't uh, get anything that is successful so let's try to stop the application and run it again let's run it again so here uh, when we come back to our OTP let's just go through again if it is successful we want to show this container else we'll show an empty size box let's wait for our application to load again we'll have to enter our OTP I mean to enter our phone number again So the application has started again. Let's enter our phone number. Let's click okay, continue. Okay, so our done is uh, initialized as true. That's why we are seeing this. So now both of these in our OTP screen, let's minimize this. Both of these conditions are working. So now let's go back to our authentication provider and uh, return this back to false. Let's uh, stop the application and run it one last time. So now we will enter our OTP code and then see if uh, uh, the application will take us to our to our user information screen. This is uh, the application is running again. Okay. So from here, we know that once we complete the code, it should uh, run this verify OTP method. And then after that, it should take us to our user information screen. So let's go ahead now. We click on login. We can minimize this. So if all goes well, it takes us to OTP once we complete entering the code it will run the verify once everything is successful it will take us to the user information screen okay now let's enter our otp so before i enter the last uh, figure we can also change this inside of the boxes here let's just improve that let's add a color uh here here we can maybe say color and then give it a white color gold white let's uh hot restart like that so let me enter the last figure which is six now this is is okay we are in our uh, user information screen why because the verify otp method happened and then after it was successful this happened so now we need to work in our user information screen and that is exactly what we are going to do in the next video.